everybody, my name is Windows and uh, welcome one, welcome all to a quick video today about Andor Plays Infinite Lag Range. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Phase 3 and taking strongholds, uh, taking cities and the new stronghold mechanic. So basically in Phase 3 and with one of the later patches, um, cities now have defensive strongholds, right? So, as you can see, we are gathered here, my union and I, to um, take over a city, obviously. And, well, there's a thing that you would notice. Um, before I get to that, let me just go and turn on uh, music and sound effects, because, you know, that is a thing that we all like in our games. We like to hear some stuff going on, and that's always great. I'll just lower the volume a little bit so we can uh, focus. Now, here's the thing. Um, as I said, in the new phase, we have defensive strongholds, and you would notice that one thing is missing. That is enemy blockades. You just don't have the blockades floating around in the city anymore. This is a level 2 city that is owned by the Lasile Trust Company, and there are no blockades. So what happens here is, um, the blockades are inside these strongholds. So you can see the description. A defensive stronghold is one of the city's facilities and plays an important defensive role. It will form a joint defense against enemies and will intercept attacking enemies in the vicinity of the defensive stronghold and the city. Now, in practice, what happens is, when you attack the city with well, anything. If you collide with the city and you attack the city, defensive fleets will spawn out of these defensive strongholds. Each city has anywhere from three to four, usually four. And these four uh, strongholds will create god fleets, which will then deploy blockades around the city. So what happens is if you take this stronghold, for instance, uh, over here, Blockades will deploy from this stronghold going outwards in this direction and they will blockade the fleets here. So today we're actually going to go ahead and see what to do and how to handle um, these new things, uh, these, this new feature. Does it change level 2 sieges much? Um, no. I know to some people, you know, this seems like a major change or a new headache to deal with and whatever, but number one, this is phase 3. Right? If you're playing Phase 2 or Phase 3, you're kind of used to sieges. It's not a big adjustment to make. And the fleet compositions of the city have not changed. Right? So level 2 has got the cannons and the missiles, and level 3 has got uh, the lasers and so on and so forth. Level 5 is again cannons, level 7 will have lasers, blah 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 blah. Um, the challenge itself is not different. All that is different is one step. And the one step that's going to change is that we are going to hit the city with a scout before the other ships come in and attack it. And in so doing, we're going to force the defensive stronghold to spawn the guard fleets, make the guard fleets come out, deploy their blockades, and kill the guard fleets. That's it. So what would the difference be? The difference is... Prior to the defensive stronghold patch, you would attack the guards close to your siege time with active fleets in the area. You would destroy the guards around here, and then you would attack the city. That's it, right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to attack the city with a scout, right? Or if you're feeling bold with two big fat fleets, whatever. And then you will force the guards to spawn and you will attack the gods, you will destroy the gods, clearing the way for the other ships to come and take um, the city. That's it. That's it. So it's not that different. Um, so let's just wait for that to happen. Uh, we have, I think, only a couple of minutes remaining. We got um, friendly fleets moving in, and once they're ready, they'll go ahead and attack the city, and we will see what happens. In the meantime, um, let's go take a look at some fun stuff. This is the fleet that I'm using right now. Look at how pretty everything is. Um, actually, go ahead and take a look. Look at that. These are all liveries uh, that I've purchased and used from the last two phases. Look at how pretty that is. Very cool, right? Done. And Done. Uh, my special Karelians. Initiating warp drive module. 
Yeah, you're not going anywhere. You're not warping anywhere. Shut up already. And then you have uh, this one, which is very cool. I used to have this livery. Uh, it's purchased with cosmetic points. I used to have it on the Constantine. And then I decided, eh, that's all right. We'll put it on the ships that we are using right now. So anyway, we got uh, fleets coming in very soon. Somebody's going to hit the ship, uh, hit the city with a scout. The gods will deploy and we'll take care of it. That's it. Um, so, while we're waiting for that, I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. If you do like these videos, please go to cake.rle.ninja, that is cake as in butterscotch cake, and sponsor us a butterscotch cake with your support. We would absolutely appreciate it a lot if you like these videos. And, uh, you know, remember to have fun, stay safe, game on, you know, enjoy the game, and play the games that you love. Um, dump some comments in the video, tell us if you like it, and, um, you know, share your opinions with us, let us know how you guys are handling the game, how you're playing with your unions, and whether or not you like Infinite Lag Range, I'd love to know. Um, yeah, so, um, my friend is announcing that he is ready to, uh, spawn the gods. Um, anytime now, the scout should be going in and hitting the city. I think this is his, yeah. That's, that's his scout. Right. Okay. Everybody's ready. Here we go. Now you'll notice that he's moving into the city, right? No, no, no. That god did not spawn because he's moving in. The god just spawns. Now what's going to happen is keep your eye on this stronghold here, okay? So he's moving in. Anytime now, as he moves in, you will notice this happens. See, the gods spawn over here, and we'll actually take it out. Can we target? Yes, we can. But you have to wait for the warp to complete. It's not magic, guys. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's dropped. We will attack it with our fleet. Off we go. La 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 la. That's it. That's it. It's literally. That's all. There's no other change. This is what sieging with the new mechanic is all about. You force the guards to deploy and then you terminate them. End of story. Okay? So don't worry about it so much. I mean, I know that some people were like uh, telling me that, Oh, so many things have changed. I mean, no. No, it hasn't. It's just one simple step that you have to do, which you would not have done earlier to trigger the blockades. End of story. Nothing special, nothing different. It's the same sieges, right? It's just the one extra mechanic. That's it. Okay, we're going in right now. Of course, some of the fleets should have been pulled in that blockade, but clearly the game has many, many features, guys. Many, many features. Right, here we go. Face 35 ships with our pathetic 18, and let's see if we can win. Woohoo! Hey, what is this hyperactiveness suddenly? Okay, here we go. Full attack, all weapons. Wow, this is like on steroids. Look at how fast they're firing. Fire all rail guns. Very cool. Full power missiles lost strikes to battle positions. Enemy forget destroyed. I do. Warp drive. I don't believe my formation is a little bit jumbled. Ah, the enemy's right in between. Okay, they're, they're literally in between my face. Destroyer, right there, like in between my fleet, jumbling my formation, and then my friends are coming in too. By the way, you can now see your friends firing, which is like really cool. Like, I mean, clearly. You could see it before, but they were like faint traces and stuff. Now you can see it very clearly in battle view. I think uh, they have optimized it quite a bit. So I have 18 ships, you can see here, they have 33 at the moment, that's gonna be reduced very soon. Um, yes, Armored Frigates are still quite viable. I think Armored Frigates will always be viable, you know. Frigates are inherently difficult to hit, extra armor, composite armor gives them more survivability. 
Um, in my case, I'm using stealth Kerillians, special Kerillians, which are extremely tanky. Very cool, we're getting rid of them. So this is it, this is your level 2 um, city siege in the new phase with the new mechanic. Um, I'm not sure if this mechanic has been deployed for phase 2 and phase 1 because I'm in phase 3, I haven't gone back to check. If it has, well, this is all you're doing. You're not doing anything fancy and special. It's not overly complicated. Everybody chill out, right? Just adapt the one extra step. You're good to go. No biggie. Alternatively, if you have like super teched up ships, um, you have all the right blueprints, etc. You have a you have a union full of dudes with magnificent blueprints. Um, go nuts and just attack the city directly and take the gods as they come and just you know as you normally would. Uh, with the old mechanic, you can handle the siege. It's no biggie either. Okay, so we lost our first ship, which is a ruby. Yeah, I mean they do a lot of damage. It's what you get. It's what you get. All right, take him out. Take him out. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Very good. Nice. Nice, that's the end of it. Um, should be done. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Woohoo! Alright, that's done. Let's get back to uh, the game over here. You're, where are you? Ah. Uh, okay. This is gonna go badly. Um. You're returning to the spot. Oh, we're gonna get stuck behind my friend over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Pathing gods, I pray to thee. Please let my captain use the steering wheel. Mate, steer the damn ship. Come on, come on, come on. Don't get stuck. Oh, he's gonna get stuck. He's gonna get stuck. Oh, crap. No, he's not gonna get stuck. Yay! Oh, thank the gods, man. Thank the gods there. That's a thing. Right, well, I, I think he's going to get into the battle directly, isn't he? Our fleet is yes. Very cool. I mean, that didn't even need me to spend any AP. Okay, tear them apart. What are you guys even firing at? Let me see. Cool, show me. Nice. Next. Yeah, that's my fleet there. Uh, they're also being attacked by the fleets over there. Like, lots of ships right now. Woohoo! Lights, baby, lights! This is an armored frigate. Now, it has entered emergency evasion. Strategies are displayed here. Um, some people have been asking me why this happens, that a ship is ignored sometimes when it is in red, um, red health. This is because every ship in the game has a chance to activate a strategy called emergency evasion when its health goes to red. That is, it's really low on health points. Um, here's the thing. On most of the ships, the chance to activate this, on every ship, the chance to activate this is like 5%. It doesn't really trigger. But whereas certain ships like the Ares Armored Destroyer have a 25% chance um, to activate Emergency Evasion. Um, it's a strategy that you can enhance and use. Um, so that's, that's why that happens. That's why it triggers. Every other ship that does not trigger Emergency Evasion will just be killed. Straight up. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Shake the room, guys. Destroy them all. Yes! Very good. Okay. Who are we targeting now? You guys are all targeting the destroyers. Well done. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Uh-huh. You do that. Enemy destroyer. Yep, yep. You do that. Kill them all. Fire well done. Full attack. All weapons. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So you can actually see what's happening over there. Um, ships are disappearing. So I have all these allies over here are firing on it. Look at the bullets fly, man. It's awesome. Very cool. Oh, uh, this is my uh, Kaor. You can actually see that. Um, excuse me, sorry. I'll just show you guys my Kaor, which is very cool. Look at that. Look at that. 
Uh, the secret to get this, uh, the secret to getting this blueprint to work is to enhance the hit rate on it. Okay, just straight up. Many people say it doesn't, it, it doesn't work properly. It does crappy damage, guys. It does crappy damage because you don't enhance the hit rate on it. Seriously, it's a railgun ship. Okay, it needs hit rate to work properly. It's that simple. Get with the program. All right. Um, okay, so that's it. So you kill um, the defense fleets and you're good to go. Right. So let's take a look at um, what's happened over here. I fought this fleet for two minutes, uh, 58 seconds. Obviously, there was nobody else hitting me. Um, it, they did 700. They did 76k damage, was it? Yes. And I did 218k. Um, there you go. You know. That's... There you go. We suffered the loss of one ruby. They suffered the loss of literally everything that they had. Um, in the other case, we have pretty much the same result. Except I don't think I was tanking in this case. Yeah. I wasn't taking any damage. But, yeah. This is what I'm saying. Like, if you have the right ships... Um, there's really no difference. The mechanic doesn't make any difference to what you would have done in any other phase, in any other version of City Siege. Um, yeah, it's just the one extra step of having a scout trigger the guards. End of story. Um, is there anything else I want to show you guys here? Uh, no, no, I'm not going to brag about anything. Right, it's all good. Right, so the ships, the fleets are gathering and we're going to hit the city very soon. Okay, um, the, the, okay, all the other ships are going to be coming this way. I'm going to go ahead and position myself, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and position myself here. I have enough points, I don't think it's going to be a problem. And once the other ships come and contact against, uh, contact the city, I'll join the attack. I mean, I know that I have a tanky fleet, but I'm not going to try and tank, what, like 20 fleets at once? 156? 6 plus 7, that is 13. Yeah, roughly 7 fleets. I'm not going to try and tank 7 fleets, guys. I could try, I'm not going to. Not, not going to do that. Um, should I go back to base right now? Nah, it's okay. We'll do it later. Oh boy. Um, I think these are just patrol fleet. No, that's one of the. Is that one of the blockades? Oh my god! It is. It is. Oh well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's easy enough to handle. Are you getting in? Are you joining the fun? Yes, yes you are. Good steering. I think you are gonna get intercepted too, my friends. Yes, yes you- Whoa, whoa hey, 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 what the heck? Whoa, what is that Houdini magic? Uh, did he just retreat? I think he retreated. Yeah, I think he retreated his fleet. Good job, good job. Look, don't be heroes in this game, okay? Guys, some of you are like, I'm gonna fight to the death because this is my style, man. Okay, don't do that. Don't fight to the death, please. If your fleet gets reduced to like 50% of its total HP, get out. Because in this stage of the game, you don't really want to lose ships. You don't want to waste your time building ships, okay? So, get out of the fight. Let the other union members do it. Unless you're like a really small union, in which case you shouldn't um, be AFK and you you really should be very coordinated in that case. Yeah, uh, so, so that's just what I want to say. All right, let's go ahead and join the fun. Kawabanga! Here we go. Destroyer on the attack. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really hard. 
Can I can I kill that ship? Is it like even possible for me to kill the ship? What do you think, guys? Is it possible? Let's find out. Remaining. I mean, I could die to a large miner. It, it, it could totally happen. Yeah, I'm just saying. It could happen. But it didn't. Here we go. Next. Enemy warship. <laughs> the only thing I'm killing <laughs> is miners and frigates. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, let's have some fun! Um, can you show me? Look at all the cool stuff happening right now. People are going all over the place. Let me get a bird's eye view. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to see what's happening right now. We get very few things. Ah. Uh, Enemy warship locked in our position. No, you're exploding. Oh, you're gonna be a priority target, so I'm not gonna care about it. Right here we go. Enemy destroyer destroyed. So there's another fleet over there. Boom! Very cool. Does somebody have fighters? I think one of my guildmates already has fighters. That's cool. Bombers and whoa ho! Hello. Yeah, they already have bombers. Clearly, clearly that's why. Oh yeah, look at that swarm, baby. Look at that swarm. Amazing. Boom! Dead. Okay, let's go to this guy over here. Wow. Yeah, aircraft and corvette swarms are incredibly powerful at this point in the game. Woohoo! Oh my god, who's using Vitas bombers already? That that looked like Vitas pulse bombers to me, plasma bombers. Very, very cool. Well done. Okay, who's remaining? Enemy destroyer destroyed. Seriously? It's all exploding! Woohoo! Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Um, let's go back there. I want to see what's happening. Everything is exploding. Explode, blow, exploding. You know, you would be amazed that this is an actual mobile game. It's a mobile browser game, but these kind of graphics is fabulous. And uh, here we go. We're gonna hit the city. Um, let's go to one of my rubies. And they now have this beautiful side camera. So you can actually see all the, you know, all the projectiles going towards it. It it looks more like a city camera to me, but um, when you're fighting when you're fighting fleets, it's more like a side to side cam. It's pretty cool. I want to see if any of my ships. And uh, no, 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 no. I just want to know if any of you are using. You're using anti aircraft support. For the city. Okay. Right, and the HP falls, and then the city is going to be ours. So, my point, um, the point of this video was to show you how defensive strongholds work. So, just remember, uh, position your active member fleets around the strongholds, send a scout to attack the city, trigger the guards, and then finish them off. That's it. That's all you got to do. Um, there's nothing revolutionary, nothing very different. It's just a single step that's added to the usual siege mechanics and then you can win. Initiating warp drive module. Up. There are a lot of ships firing from the side. I wonder if I can actually show you guys. All weapons. Yeah, you can actually see them right there. It's amazing that now you can see all of these ships so clearly. It's pretty cool. I like it. Really do. Initiating warp drive module. 
Yeah, that city is dropping like a fly, man. It's 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 very easy to kill this. Um, can I? I, I want to show you guys like some really cool views. Let me see if I can. Oh, I think I can get it from there. You're on emergency evasion. Are you like even firing then? You are. Okay. How do you miss a city, you bum? How do you miss a city? For God's sake! <laughs> uh, ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. That beam just missed the city. How? How does that happen? Somebody tell me how you can miss a target that big. Like, it's not moving. Right? Cities don't have engines and stuff. They're not they're, they're not moving. It's a stationary target as far as we know. But look at the number of times those lasers are missing. That's awesome. Sad, but also awesome to see. Yeah, you're triggering emergency evasion again. Alright. Um, I want to see if you ever trigger your strategy. I have noticed that in this phase, for me, my ruby has not triggered its strategy. Maybe that's a bug um, that that has to be fixed. I don't know. But let's find out. Like, there's 10% uh, of health remaining. That should still take a respectable amount of time. Right? And in that time, it should trigger its strategy. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna... Yeah, I think it's bugged this phase that the ruby, the standard ruby strategy doesn't work. Enemy oh yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. There you go, guys. City occupied. That's it. That's all. That's all we had to show you. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the new mechanic. And uh, we won. That's that's all there is to it. That's all she wrote. That's how amazing it is. We get all these ships gathered over here. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. Let's just get back out there, and you can actually see what's going on. Yeah, it's still the same same mechanic from before. It's just this uh, stronghold part that is changed. Okay. Um, quick stuff about the defensive stronghold. It is not in your control, okay? You, you, the officers of your union, your second in command, the union leader, cannot trigger this manually, uh, in case anyone's wondering. But one of the big advantages of having the defensive stronghold is this transfer button. And the reason the transfer button is so important is because, you see this? This is what happens when... Uh, many many ships transfer to the city directly you end up basically doing what this fleet is doing right now going right to the city now that's what happens when you warp in you warp into the city you go straight in and then you go to the position that you initially allocated as the parking spot now what can happen with defensive strongholds is you can warp directly to the stronghold and not the city. So that creates less congestion if you're going to use the city as a gathering spot. So there, there's something that you can do. Now, we're all going to go take another city. But this is something that I just wanted to show you guys. Um, you can go ahead and take a look at the damage. We didn't lose anything, which is awesome. Um, the ruby clearly does a superior amount of damage. So that's, that's awesome. Um, we also fought a bunch of city fleets. Um, we didn't do a lot of damage there, simply because I think uh, other fleets were hitting it. We did some damage over here. It's pretty cool. And all the while, you're getting XP. Yeah. Based on the ships you destroy, and based on the damage that you do, and the amount of time that you spend in battle. Yes, I got no XP for destroying a miner. <laughs> a recon frigate. Yeah, not very surprising. I did get a 
bunch of XP for destroying the large miner though, which is which is very cool. We got a lot for killing um, this full defense fleet. That was a lot of fun. Alright guys, that's it. That's it from us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like it, please go ahead and um, subscribe to the YouTube video, to our channel, like the video, go to cake.rle.ninja, links are in the video description, and sponsor us a butterscotch cake. Your tips are most appreciated, and we always enjoy bringing this, these videos to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us for today. This has been Andar Plays, brought to you by Razorlight Entertainment. My name is Venice Andar. Please stay safe, take care of yourselves and your family, and I'll see you next time. God bless you all. Peace.